What's up, everybody? It's the the Michael and the Chinese Seven here. I've returned. I've been uh, I've been doing videos for a while. Sorry about that. I've been taking a break. I actually just got a new haircut. And um, today I'm reviewing Captain America: The Winter Soldier. This came out on April fourth, and I saw it on Saturday, actually April fifth. And I saw it in IMAX, not in three D. Actually, I saw it in just IMAX, and it was a really good film. And I just to put my opinion out there just for the sake of it. So let's begin. Um. It's a Marvel film, of course. Superhero Captain America, Black Widow, and Nick Fury in this film. Um, so, how is a lot of people be saying that it's better than the Avengers right here? Now, in my opinion, I don't think it's better than the Avengers. But in my opinion, I think it's better than the other two Marvel films that are out there. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, Thor The Dark World and Iron Man um, 3, which I got on Blu-ray as well. So, um, uh, Thor The Dark World I didn't get on Blu-ray yet for some reason. Um, anyway, I think that Captain America Winter Soldier, in my opinion, beat the other two Marvel films that were released, like I said before, over there. And I want to say why, in my opinion. Um, before I just go into anything of details of story, characters, action, or visual effects, I'm going to go into like, the director's chair here. Now, the other two director's chairs, Alan, Tan Alan Taylor and Shane Black, who are directors of Thor The Dark World and Iron Man 3, they did a good job for the film, and they really brought something new to the for the franchise. Now, I really like the director's choice for this film, which was the Russo brothers, which were Anthony and Joe Russo. And these guys were, they didn't really do action before. And I, they did um, films like You, Me, and Dupree, and which was a film, a comedy film with Matt Dillon and Owen Wilson. They also did a TV show, I believe, called Community, which is still on, I heard. Uh, I must say, uh, just for their work of job, Russo brothers, good job on this film. Two thumbs up. Amazingly done well. So, let me just say out the face that no one's going to think that these two directors can't do action ever again due to this film just being amazing. I mean, I want to go into why. Now, I want to go into storytelling here. Um, Story-wise, this film is actually really surprising. Um, the film takes place after the events of the Avengers. Captain America, it's Steve Rogers, also played by Chris Evans. He is still getting used to the world we live in. And he basically plays a character who's Captain America. He's kind of a character who doesn't really belong in time. He's basically out of time. He's basically he used to, was supposed to live in the 40s. But now he's stuck for 70 years and he's trying to get used to it all. And he's trying to take this all in. While this happens, while he's trying to get used to the time of where he lives now, he has to deal with a new enemy called the Winter Soldier, which is a Soviet assassin. And he's in the background of this picture. If you can see, he's right there. If you can't see him, go look it up in a picture or somewhere. And basically, the Winter Soldier is coming, and he has an army, and hell, hell, and he's going to bring all hell to take down Captain America and S.H.I.E.L.D., basically. Now, well, the reason why I like this film a lot is really the storytelling, in my opinion. While the other films were more just an action overall film, the thing about this film is it actually takes more of a risk. and basically not just becomes an action film, but it becomes a covert espionage thriller in the... In the the development. It also felt like a 70s action to spy film at times. Basically on them on the run. There's moments of intensity and like dramatic moments that were really well done. I must say, story wise, there's a lot of great moments in this film. Oh, excuse me. There's a lot of great moments of wit and dialogue and all that. And it works really well. And you could tell that the writers, um, see, um, hang on. I think their names are Steve. Christopher, Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFreely. They're the same writers who did um, the first Captain America. They also did The World of Dark World and Thor. This, is, I think, is their best writing yet because I think they understand the 70s genre of action spy thriller films. It also has that type of political type of feeling to it of conspiracy. And it just works really overall. The other films like Iron Man 3 and Thor, they were just action con uh, story films based on a comic. Like, Iron Man 3's story was interesting, it had that great plot twist. Good. But I, but Thor Dark World story, in my opinion, was kind of convoluted. And it didn't really do the story justice overall. But in Captain America with the Soldier, the story writers and the writers overall did a great job with the story. Due to how they structured it, and how they planned it out. And it's just, and what amazing thing is, you don't really see adaptations do the comic book justice. The original comic book, which is the Winter, Winter Soldier. 
which is a big part of Captain America's like franchise. And they do it justice here. A lot of people have been telling me who've read the actual comic book that it follows the exact storyline. It does everything right and it doesn't screw up on any part. And I'm and I'm glad to see some good res- like good like reviews of that. The good like opinions out of that. Like other than people that oh this one's terrible. It didn't follow anything. But you instead I hear people saying that the film's really good. It follows storyline. It doesn't take too many chances. Actually, in my opinion, the film makes a lot of risks with the story itself. And I just love that about the film. It does a great job with it. It's just really well done. And when you get to the end of it, it's just really intensifying. Dialogue, like I said before, the writing in this film is top-notch. I really do feel like this film has a great type of emotional attachment. I feel like they did a great job with Captain America. Because in when um, Captain America The First Avenger, which came out in 11, which I haven't reviewed, but if I were to give that film a score, I'd give it like a 7.5 out of 10, a tops or seven or an 8 overall. I felt like that they had to rush just to kind of make the character get into the present timing, which was right before the Avengers started. But in here, I feel like they had tons of time to really write the film, really expand the character around, and give it enough time to layer it all together. And that works overall for this film. I love that. And I feel like the writers, they kind of understood the 70s uh, genre of spy, thriller, espionage. And they understood it well enough. Because if you don't understand it, and if you try to write this script, this, this film's dialogue could have been terrible. But they did such a great job. As a story, and this has a lot of compelling tw- turns that will make you be surprised and twist that you won't see coming. Because when I was in the theater, and there was tons of people in the theater when I was watching in the IMAX, saw my big brother... And when we saw it, and then people who saw, like, the twists and turns happen, they were like, oh, wow, they didn't see this coming. Because, I don't know, they didn't see it coming. Now, let's, now, story-wise, the film is amazing. It's a great story overall. Just outstanding. Mwah. Just amazing. Now, let's go into characters here. Characters, Captain America. I feel like he does, they, uh, Chris Evans is good as Captain America, like, always, in my opinion. He does a great job as him. And you really see him become more of Steve Rogers. He kind of... Becomes more of a leader in this film. Becomes more of a... Kind of like a captain in this film. Captain America. And um, you really do see him kind of have an emotional... Like outburst... Like not outburst... But more of intensifying moments in this film. And that's really well done here. And what's cool about it... Is it kind of goes more deeper into the layer of Captain America himself. Is I feel like I can relate more to him... Than to Iron Man or Thor. Because those two are guys... Who have their own personal like things. Like one's a guy with a hammer... Other one has shrapnel in his chest. Well, in this film, he's a human being with some super enhanced abilities, with strength, speed, and all that stuff. I think he's more relatable because he's kind of a guy who's out of time, really. He doesn't really relate to one place. He's moved out of his territory, and he did have a choice. In this. Well, he did have a choice, but it wasn't. He had no other option to do it, and it's kind of cool to see that he still moves on. And he's trying to deal with these things here, and it works overall. And I really do like how in this film he kind of is more angry, I feel like, in the sequences of action. Because in this film, I've never even seen the shield be used like this at times. So there's a moment when he throws the shield and it hits people. And when it hits people, it's like boom, like a big hit. They suddenly fly or they get hit and they just like slam to a wall. And you suddenly feel like he's throwing it just to kill them. And that's just amazing to see how they really intensify the shield in this film. Just outstanding overall. Mwah. Um, Black Widow, I feel like uh, Scarlett Johansson, she did a great job as well, in my opinion. I don't think uh, her acting is bad, like some people will think her acting is horrible. I think she did a great job in this film. She really did uh, hold her own. She's kind of the partner in this film to Captain America, and he does a, and she does a really good job. She kind of has her own little uh, personal conflict she has to deal with as well. I'm not going to spoil that too much about it, but she has her own great uh, dialogue, and, these, and Captain America, they... And her, they kind of have a cool, like, chemistry in the film. As they uh, work together later on. And then there's Samuel L. Jackson, who plays Nick Fury. And I feel like he did such a great job in it. Some people would say he, did, he doesn't fit the role properly. I feel like after seeing him in Avengers and Iron Man 2 and 1, he does a good job in his film. He does a really good job. And he kind, and he kind of understands the character a lot more now. And they basically have him having a conflict, too, as well. As he has to make choices as a director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he has to make some big choices, and you don't really see it that much. But surprisingly, he's not even in the film that much overall. He may be in the film for like a half an hour total. 30 minutes overall, throughout the entire film, I remember seeing him. 
Captain America and what Scott Johansson is a Black Widow. They did a great job. They were throughout their film entirely and they sustained it overall. Great job. There's also Anthony Mackie, who is the Falcon, Sam Wilson. He's a good, like, sidekick partner. I think they'll, he'll be more useful when he shows up in the next Avengers movie, Age of Ultron, which comes out next year, which I know is going to blow up. Um, I feel like they could have uh, had a little more action with him, but I was satisfied with what I got with him. He had some good scenes of aerial combat, which was outstanding. Um, and then there is Robert Radford. Who is a classical actor? I heard he was a really good actor in the past. He did other films. Uh, I also saw his other film, All Is Lost. Really good film of his. Um, I uh, he plays a character named Alexander Pierce, who was a secretary of Shield. And just to have his presence in the film, it feels like you're watching a '70s movie. Just amazing overall. His performance. He. Um, I kind of like how his character transforms later on, and I don't want to give too much away because I'll go into spoilerville. But I do like what happens overall. And I kind of feel like he does a really good job with this film. I heard that he wanted to be in the film because his kids always loved Marvel movies. And he always wanted to be in a Marvel movie because of his kids. So his kids get, oh look, Robert Radford's in the film and all. Big deal. But he does a good job as Robert Radford playing Alexander Pierce, who was a Secretary of S.H.I.E.L.D. He does a great job. I feel like he's always good in almost everything he does. So he does a great job in that overall. And then we have the last uh, actor, Sebastian Stan, who plays the Winter Soldier. And may I must say, great villain overall. Just great. There were moments when I felt like he, like, there was no way to stop the guy. There was no way that they could stop him. And it was imp I felt like it was like hard to really stop this type of character. He was like a Terminator, for God's sake. He has a robotic arm. He is fearable. He is kind of like this... He's so strong. He's like a perfect rival for Captain America. And it's so amazing to see him like kill people when he like blows up places. There's moments when he causes action and mayhem that people in the theater when things happen, they're like, Oh snap, they were like gasping and like, Oh, it was in the theater, they were all like, Oh crap, that just happened. I never really saw that happen in other films. When I went into Iron Man three and I saw it in the theater, no one actually really did it that much. Thor we didn't see it that much. We did see it in X Men First Class a little bit. But not as much as what I saw in Captain America Winter Soldier with the audience. What I saw with the audience when they were like going, oh, I was like, oh, snap, wow. Just this, like, Winter Soldier is a perfect, like, one of the best villains. Is he better than Loki as a villain? I don't know. But I still think he, the Winter Soldier, is a great villain for um, a superhero movie. She's like the Terminator of superhero movies overall. There's moments when he's in the film and he's causing mayhem. And I felt like they couldn't stop him at all. No way of stopping him. But they... It's just amazing overall. It's just so good. Excuse me, I'm gonna drink this. You should not know, this is a collector's cup of Captain America. I got this at Linden Boulevard. Really good cup. <coughs> I have phlegm. Excuse me. But back to the film overall, uh, I really do thought that the actor, Winter Soldier, Sebastian Stan, he did a really good job. He brought that type of dark presence to the film. And if they didn't put that type of actor in the spot, like this hucky bunny, like true guy who didn't really have the strength of physics of a fearsome character, the Winter Soldier's um, role wouldn't fit well. It wouldn't like fit well into the film. It wouldn't have worked. And I just love that how they did a good job with this film. Um... Now, I talked about characters, I talked about story, let's go into the action, as, in my opinion, this film has the most action out of them all. Now, in case you guys do not know, ever since After the Avengers, these films are taking a lot more darker vibe or darker tone to it. I mean, 3 had a darker tone, Thor had a darker tone, had the dark world in the name, and the Winter Soldier has a more darker tone. As, in my opinion, these films are trying to show that these heroes, they can be defeated in battle when they're by themselves. And I just love that in this film, that Steve Rogers could lose. He, I felt like at moments he could lose the battle. And if he loses, I thought in my mind, what would be the worst thing that happened? Just wow. It's just so well done in my opinion. Outstandingly well done, in my opinion overall. Um, but action-wise, let's go into action here. The action in this film is so well done. Because there's not just one type of action. There's so many types of varieties of action that you'll get what you want. There's no sea battles, of course. But there is a car chase here, there's gun battles, there's quick hand hand combat, there's aerial battle dog fights. It's so much, there's so many types of battle like action type of form styles here 
that they did such a good job. The directors really didn't know how to really take the action and really mix it up. It never felt stale or repetitive at all. Moments when like the camera gets close and you see like them like breaking up stuff and they're fighting and they're getting real close and they're hitting each other and they feel like the intensity of the hits it's like mm, yeah boom boom wow it was so awesome to like really see that happen wow and I really did like the amount of visual effects in this film that they used I mean directors Anthony and Joe Russo they didn't want to use too much visual effects because they wanted to use the least amount of visual effects as possible because they wanted to go to what they call a lost form of theater. Old school, old, old school action filming. You know, kind of have much realistic, not use too much visual effects. And in my opinion, good job on that. It, it felt like at times they didn't really use too much visual effects, only for the parts when they couldn't do realistic practical effects. So good job there, just good job. You could tell with some of the action that there are some good practical, like good parts when you feel like it's realistic. Because this film still has a realistic tone. And if they kind of put, like, Captain America on his team and, like, visual effects 100%, the film will lose this type of reality to it. And it'll just become this full-on fantasy action film instead of a realistic, darker-toned action film. And it works for me. And I really do love the credit. Like, so the critics are reviewing this perfectly. It's a 90% on Flickster Rotten Tomatoes. So good job. Um, and also, I really do love how it just does a really good job overall of action. In my opinion, like I said before, there's like so many close uh, shots, and the cinematography for some of this action is really well done. Like moments when like the explosions happen, they don't get too close to the action. They show like some of like the sights of it happening, and it works really well for this film. Um, now for of course for Avenger callbacks and stuff like that, they don't really do too much of callbacks. They do talk about Tony Stark a little bit, like oh Iron Man has to come to my birthday, my my niece's birthday party, and he has to mingle a little bit. And, like, the sign of Stark Industries on some of the machines that are in the film. Those are cool little callbacks. But I didn't really see no callbacks to Thor or Hulk in it that much. I, I did see, like, a little callback to Hawkeye, which Scarlett Johansson. She has a necklace on her neck that has, like, an arrow through it, which is a stand for Hawkeye. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing they added to the film. Now, another thing that now I know a lot of people or reviewers will be talking about this is where are, like, the rest of the team? Where is, like... Like, a lot of people uh, complained about this with Iron Man 3 and Thor The Dark World. When, like, these, these like, separate heroes, they're fighting a big situation. Why didn't the rest of the Avengers come in, like, Thor? Why don't Thor come in to help out um, Captain America? Why don't Iron Man come in to help out Captain America? Well, you want to know why? Because this is not an Avengers movie. This is basically Captain America's movie. It has to stay with Captain America. If you don't like that, then stop complaining about it. Don't complain about it so much. I mean, I still see people complaining about it. I told them. <coughs> I even said this in my Thor review. That we're still going to see this problem with people complaining about how she, like, the rest of the Avengers isn't helping these characters out in this film because of this reason. Just leave it alone. It ain't going to go away. They're not going to try to fix it because, in my opinion, they don't need to fix it. It's their film. It's Captain America's film. It's Scar Johansson's film. It's Nick Fury's film. It's S.H.I.E.L.D.'s film. Because S.H.I.E.L.D. is there. Alright? So, big deal. Get over it. Now, I really like how the film ends, in my opinion. Like, they really took big... They really had the balls to, like, change the formula a little bit, change the franchise up a little bit. And it worked so well. I'm really surprised to see how it ends. And I really can't wait to see how they're going to change it up from there. Like, how is it going to be different from what we've seen so far? And I really, really can't wait. It's so much waiting for this film. Like, for Avengers Age of Ultron to come out. That has a lot of hype behind it. That you just have to hope that it goes so well overall. It's just so well done in my opinion. Also, before you leave the film, also there's two things behind the credits. So stay behind for the credits twice. There's one after the first minute of credits, and then there's another one, which is really at the end. I didn't actually see the second one, so I only saw the first one. But when the first one I saw, holy shit, it was outstanding. It was so much like that thing, like... Just show us this little snippet. We're gonna pull you right back. We're gonna pull you to Avengers Age of Ultron. They pulled me in. I can't wait to see Age of Ultron and Avengers to see what that little snippet's gonna show us in the next film. I can't wait. If you guys have seen the film already, let me know your opinions in the comments below. And tell me, do you really think that the thing about how all these uh, heroes are on their own and why don't other people come in to save them, do you think that's a big problem to you? Because in my opinion, I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem, really. Look at me. Look at me. 
I don't see the problem at all. I don't really see it. If you have a problem with that, that's your problem, but not mine, because I love this film overall. In my opinion, it's better than Iron Man 3 and Thor The Dark World. That's how I say it, in my opinion. I just love this film overall, and in my opinion, this is the best Marvel film in Phase 2 so far. In Phase 2, this beats Iron Man 3 and Thor The Dark World. Will it be uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. But in my opinion, this is the best out of Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man. So that's so far. Captain America wins, in my opinion. So what do I give this out of 10? Now, my past reviews, I gave Iron Man 3 a 9.5. I gave Thor The Dark World an 8. So it's going to be higher than Thor The Dark World. It's going to be higher than Iron Man 3. So what does that mean? In my opinion, I didn't really have no problems with the film at all. No problems. If you guys have your problems, that's your review. And that's how you think of it. Some people will say that the story has too much uh, heaviness, like, it doesn't move on. I don't really, uh, believe any of that. I saw the film myself. I experienced it in IMAX. Well job. I love it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Just like the Avengers. But it isn't better than the Avengers. In my opinion, it's on par with the Avengers. Basically, on how this film is an Avengers 1.5, in my opinion. If you guys have your problems with it, that's your thing. But I'm giving it a perfect score, a 10 out of 10 overall. If you guys have a problem with that, that's your problem, not mine. Okay? So please like the video, comment below, and subscribe for um, upcoming videos that are coming out. Um, I'll be on Facebook and Twitter. My name on Facebook is Michael Martinez. My name on Twitter is the Michael M 1997 I'm going to be trying to catch up on Twitter a lot more now. For some reason, I haven't been on it for like a few days. <coughs> God damn. I've been on for a few days and I have a really bad cough. So like the video, comment below, subscribe. My next video review will be of Infamous Second Son. I actually just finished playing the game for what I played it of. And I can't wait to review it for you guys to give you my opinion. Some of you may not even watch it. I may get like 10 views on this video. You may never even know. So bye guys. Have a good day. Good big night. Really good film, check it out.